Esa pasta primavera, arrivederci, bellissimo, buonissimo. <laughs> it's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, y'all. So today, a very special subscriber wanted me to recreate this pasta in this video from my archives. <laughs> oh, man. That sounds like the WAP. Easy cheesy pepperoncini pasta. It is quite easy. Wow, look at that finishing move. <laughs> good, is that is that right, oh, sir? Oh, that right, sir. Look at this beautiful plant. All right, Taylor Owens, your wish be thy command in today's video. So flame on. Just gonna boil up some water here for the pasta. Step one. Step two, whilst that's boiling, make ourselves a side salad. What would my salad be without a few crispy onions? Step three, put that in the fridge. Next up, it's noodle time. Pop the top and we drop and wait for it to flop. And rework it in there. Get it right in there. Let that go. Eight minutes. And while that's happening, we multitask once again. We have to get our pepperoncinis prepped rancini for our sauce for the pasta. Oh, that's a big squirt. We're just gonna put them in rings. So it's very, very simple. Just cut them down into some rings. And that's really it. However many you want. So we can make our pan sauce for this. Now, when I first made this video, you have to know that this wasn't exactly any sort of real thought out recipe. This was just me craving some cheesy pepperoncini tasting pasta. So, I mean, this, uh, it is what it is. I think I was, I was likely just hung over in that video or something, was craving it. And I just made it up as I went. So this is that. Anyhow, butter in the pan, copious. Make it nice, make it lots, make it greasy, make it fatty. That's where the flavor lies, lies. Next up, pepperoncini brine. Next up, a little squeeze of lemon. Next up, our cut up pepperoncinis. Next up, fresh cracked pepper. Stir about just to see if we have enough liquid or not. All right, let's make it come together a bit. Lots and lots of fresh grana padana, parmadana, whatever you got to grate. Put it in, thicken this up a little bit. See how that brings it together? A little bit of that thickness. That's what we need around here. <laughs> and that brings us to our pasta. Shake off as much pasta water as you can. And we go in. And we toss. And we swirl. But that's not it. 
I want it cheesy. Mozzarella. And then we work it together. There we go. Nice and cheesy. All right? This is not what we were requesting, what we were looking for. Cheesy pepperoncini pasta. There it is. Look at that. Gooey, gooey pepperoncini goodness right there. And here's where we get our opportunity to make it nice. Spinfold stock. Spinfold stock. Finish that. We crown it, but we can't call that finished yet because we need more cheese, more parmesan. Always a final fresh crack and a dab or two of our citrus and that's it cheesy pepperoncini pasta is served all right y'all back with another installment of a subscriber sponsored specific request and today is uh, going out to taylor owens taylor owens has been a massively supportive person in the comments over uh the time that I've seen you in the comments. So thank you very much. This one's for you. I know we have something else on the side that isn't in this video, but you'll be seeing that down the line today. I was just craving a nice crunchy, simple salad. And I had that ranchathon the other day and I'm feeling some Hidden Valley. So I want to have that with this and just enjoy. Now, before we do anything more, we must pour. So we're gonna keep it crispy with a diet pee today. I did have half earlier, so please excuse my thirst quenching needs in this life, but your man was parched, okay? It is what it is. Thirst is the most crucial, I'd say, before hunger. And so we have to uh, acknowledge that and quench that and deal with that. And it is what it is. But it's beautiful, it's bubbling, and it's just like, you got a Pepsi for me, you know? Okay. Magnifico. All right, Taylor. This is for you. I feel like in this rendition, I fancied it up a little bit. I made it a little bit better than I did in the previous video from my condo from years ago, which is hilarious to look back on but this is it this is a cheesy pepperoncini pasta and you know what it kind of reminds me of a twisted version of i think it's called cacio de pepe And it's one of the most simple yet delicious passes hailing from the Italian culture. And it really is just like a pepper, butter, cheese pasta. From what I know. I've never personally made it myself. I feel like this is along the lines of that, though... If a real Italian watched this video, they probably would call this an abomination in comparison. But this is so easy. If you like a little bit of spice, butter and cheese, and carbs,
this is the one for you. I know that I solely made this that day in that video, that old video, just based off my obsession with pepperoncinis. All right, so because this is spicing my mouth so much, I need to cool off with a little salad bite. We need to shimmy the plates here, but like I said, just wanted a simple iceberg, some tomatoes, cucumber, parmesan, and some crispy onions, you know, with a nice creamy ranch because gotta have that cooling effect for the spice, right? So we ranch her up good, let me get right in. For that good, good, good cooling bite. Look at that, that's a cooling bite right there. Oh man. Salads are underrated. A nice creamy cold salad has to be cold. That's why I, in the beginning there, that's why I put it in the fridge. I always like to prep my salad, put it in the fridge, let everything come together at that nice same cold temperature. And pull it right at the last second. Nothing worse than a warm, limp salad. And last, it's designed that way. And I'm specifically thinking about <clears throat> warm mushroom salads. Unbelievable. I will make one sometime down the line they are delicious. As is this. Especially because the crispy onions. They add so much delicious flavor to salads. Why is the salad hitting so hard right now? Okay, back to pasta. So Taylor is 100% that subscriber, that person in the comments who goes to bat for me like so hard. And I've always seen A lot of times on my channel, I'll get comments like, yo, this channel's way underrated. Like, why do you only have X amount of subscribers? Like, you should have way more. I'll get those comments, you know, quite often. And without fail, there's like two or three people, Taylor being one of them, who are always under that comment, replying to that comment, being like, being like, 
100% this guy deserves a million in the moon. Like, just always just, like, hyping me up to those people who roll through and are like, why is this channel so underrated? Taylor, another subscriber named Daphne. Daphne D. And she's on the subscriber sponsored request list as well will be coming up in the near future but those are my my absolute riders always hyping me to the passer buyers who are just now finding out about the house hoodies house And that's why I changed my channel name to that because because now that I've acquired like a place, I wanted to make my content be like inclusive of my house. Like I wanted to have days where it's just I'm cooking and then days where I'd be podcasting and days where I'd be making music and just doing all the things. That I love to do. And have it feel like. A little more like. You're just kind of coming to my house. And chilling with me. While I do. The things that I love to do. Create. Food. Music. Art talk my fucking face off <laughs> definitely a talker over here used to get kicked out of class all the time for whispering chatting laughing I couldn't help it I couldn't be contained in class most of the time. All I wanted to do was chat and laugh. To the point where you get in such a laughing fit that you're like, you and your friend are crying and you're trying to contain it, which makes it even funnier, it makes the laugh. Like the suppressed laugh makes everything even funnier and then so you start laughing even harder. That's 100% one of the best things in life. Is that type of laughter. With a friend. As you get older, it's fewer and far between. So cherish it when it happens. All done with that, man. That salad was so good. As an adult, you might even go as far as to say <laughs> to get those laughs. That's what alcohol's for. That's what having people over. for dinner, for food, which is just disguised for come over and drink. And then we'll just let the food kind of sit and we'll pick at it over the night. That's what that's for as you get older. Come over, we'll drink, and hopefully get into some gut-wrenching knee slapping. 
grade six style laughs. But we live in a world where like, we're not even allowed to do that anymore. So what's that about? <laughs> so annoying. I miss gatherings. I miss drinking with people. I miss socializing. I miss laughing. I miss talking to people in real life. And I'm sure you do too. All right, so we're left with a lot of pepperoncinis. I think I went overboard on that. I should have just stuck with the three, not the five. The three would have made it much more balanced. But Taylor, thank you very much once again. I hope you try the recipe. Like I say, I would go easier on the pepperoncinis, but delicious nonetheless. Salad's clutch, and uh, that'll end this one. So till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.